Let's talk about this Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is one of the longest running uh, situation comedy shows in American TV now, I believe. Been doing 13 years. 13 now. years. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, a, it's lots of fun. It's available here on Netflix, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just my kids turned me on to it because I hadn't seen it before they told me about it. And I'm amazed because it, it feels much edgier than, than most American it's comedy. It's a lot edgier. Yeah, we do, we do a lot of great things, so tackle a lot of good subjects, you know. Uh, anything you, you can think of that's going to really shock people, so yeah. we do it. But it seems to me like almost, mm -hmm. it, it's almost like they've set themselves a challenge to try and find something in the script to offer you that you will finally say no to, because you, you <laughs> seem to do just about anything on that show. Do basically anything that, they, yeah. And I have a lot of fun doing it too, so it's like, I mean, I, I you know, I've fallen out of windows, I've done all kinds of like slime things, I've done like amazing, like you, you think of it, I've done it. Well. Maybe I take that back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but pretty close. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. So tell me about the episode in which you emerge from the couch at oh. a Christmas party. Well, what the was idea the... was that uh, Frank, my character, is uh, they wanted to do like kind of the ghost of Christmas past thing, you know, where you, you know you like Marley takes Scrooge back to see what people really think of him, and so they they brought they were going to have a cocktail party at the business that I was I owned before I went to the bar. And um, so in order for me to find out what people were saying, I was going to hide in a couch. They were going to sew me into a leather couch, and I was going to listen to all the, par the people, the party goers. When I read the script, I thought, wow, this is going to be cool. And the idea is that I have to come out of the couch a certain way. And uh, the thing is, I re when I read the script, uh, you know, and it, it said well, everything that happens in the script. And, uh, and I had to come out of the couch naked, and it's, it's so hot in there, and I'm hot, hot. I can't, that's my big line coming out of the script. The, the couch, and I, you read it, and you go, okay, you know, I'll do that. That sounds like really fun. I know the cast. I know the crew. I figure it's going to be fine. But you don't realize that you're going to be in a, a room with a cocktail party with, like, 100 people you don't, you've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to come out, I had to come out of that couch, like, four or five times. So the first take... I come out of the couch, hot, 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 hot. And there's a clip on YouTube that you can see where she's looking at me like, <laughs> not to their line. The director says, OK, cut, cut, cut. I had to go back in the couch. <laughs> Let me ask you about your most famous brother, if I may, Danny. Uh, Arnold My, Schwarzenegger. Mean, Arnold. Boy. Yeah. Oh, no. Because Twins really? was an amazing brother. film, wasn't it? I love Twins. It's yeah. an amazing film. And the exciting thing is you're making a, there's going to be a sequel. Well, we're talking about doing triplets. Yeah. <laughs> you see, because the, if you remember Twins, the, it was a cocktail. You know, they mixed it together and then you wound up with these two gene pools. But we figured, like, you could, uh, you could probably have another portion of that cocktail turn into somebody else. For the right price. Yeah, absolutely the right price. <laughs> and, and can we talk about who might be the third person in this family? It's unusual. <coughs> family. <coughs> who might be the... <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Well, I mean, like, one of the ideas that was floated around was Eddie Murphy. Wow. That would be amazing. So it would be Arnold and Eddie and I. And have you had meetings? Have you discussed yeah, it with them? Yeah, such not? an obvious choice, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fun guy. Very, very much fun. That would be exciting. You, you, but you, you still see Arnold quite a lot. You're oh, yeah, close I see Arnold once in a while. I see him, you know, in, that, in the, the business we're in, you get to see people intensely, and if you're doing a movie, a couple of months, a few months, and then you don't see them for a while. Like, uh, you know, and then, you know, you, you bump into them, whatever. But there's always that, you know, the familial, like, bond. Uh, because unless you had a bad time with each other, we, we had a great time on Twins. He was like, you know, uh, introduced me to smoking cigars. You know, and uh, we used to go work out together. This was like uh, really. Are they laughing at the fact that Colin's got his hand around the back of your neck? Is that? I mean, <laughs> does it look like I'm? Yeah, no. It's oh, a, it looks like, it looked to me like a friendship thing, like you were it's stroking like a... his hair very gently. <laughs> we, and we, what would be wrong with we that? We could say anything we want. <laughs> <laughs> you could say anything you want on this show. <laughs> Baby, baby. <my. laughs>